Okay, so I finally got myself a microphone. Yes, I'm very happy about this, as you, if you can't tell. So, hopefully the audio is better, but I don't know. Leave your opinions in the comments, and by that I just mean please validate my um, expenses that I have spent on this. Thank you. <laughs> The Emerald Prince, written by Whimsical Girl 357 and read to you by Lay Cactus Queen. Chapter 3 Catching Rainbows Izuku awoke and stretched in the morning light, hastily checking stats for electric skin to make sure the whole thing wasn't a dream. He'd had a lot of similar ones. His mind was cruel like that. He rose, grimacing at the sudden sharp pain in his pelvis before checking the time to find it was 6 a.m. Crawling to his feet, he smiled. His hips ached, but he wondered if the novelty of waking up without fresh cuts and sharp pains would ever wear off. Once he'd begun cooking, he allowed his analytical mind to get back to work. With an ability like his, he had to keep it secret, at least for now. It was easily the most powerful quirk he could think of, and if it was made public... He didn't bear thinking about it. But that wouldn't stop him from going to UA, of course. He flipped the pancakes absently before piling them up and grabbing the golden syrup. He usually ate more healthily, but this was a celebration. He had no one he trusted enough to share the news with, but he planned to eat so much sugary food he'd soon forget that. He continued setting out his plans as he brought his plate to the table and dug in. He just had to find a few good quirks and use fusion to make himself a unique and relatively powerful quirk that could allow him to do well there anyway. He washed up, watched the news while a fresh set of painkillers kicked in, then when his stomach had settled, headed out on his morning jog, smiling. With a much more satisfying goal, life returned to Izuku's eyes over the next few weeks. He was much more energetic and talkative. His combat and structures were awed by his new energy and focus as he quickly rose to the top of the beginner's class, and over the months, the more advanced classes too. He also got more enthusiastic in work. Life had taught him many things, but the value of a quirk was one of them, and every person that came into the service rooms to pay for him not only paid with money, but with their most valued and important trait, at least in this society. His club friends were confused by how many clients he took. He had one almost every night. They could only come to the conclusion that he was desperate for money for some reason, or that he enjoyed it. It was a slightly worrying thought either way, but the guy himself seemed so happy they more or less let it go. Izuku couldn't care less. He was wary about being drunk on his new power, but couldn't see in what situation stockpiling copied quirks was a bad idea, so he gathered all he could. The perfect quirk combination for UA was presented to Izuku not half a year before he was due to take their entrance exam. Though he'd slept with a lot of clients, he was sure to be selective with which quirks he copied, choosing only useful quirks to keep, avoiding clutter. He would have felt guilty if a single one of his clients had bothered to ask about his quirk. If they were going to be that trusting, he really couldn't feel ashamed of taking advantage of them. Besides, they were creepy perverts. At least he didn't take their quirks, though he was desperate to find out what he could do with them and what upgrading them actually meant. But he'd been quirkless his whole life, and he had no intention of inflicting that on someone else, or at least hadn't wanted to yet. Electric skin had always appealed to Izuku for hero work, along with his self-defense training, which he'd soon completed and gone on to multidisciplinary combat training, and his dance that gave him flexibility and agility. Being able to fight close combat and incapacitate a villain with one touch sounded perfect, though he might have a little soft spot for the quirk since it was his first. He just wished he could better control the voltage. He knew from his research that he'd been very lucky that night. The voltage would not have knocked out anyone larger and could have killed someone smaller. However, the Greenette soon gave up on electric skin after he discovered the full potential of fusion. 
He'd played with several, and it was very much up to chance whether the resultant quirk was more useful or not. However, after collecting a few luck quirks from businessmen over the months, the success rate had increased a great deal, and now he had the perfect quirk to fuse. The client was a young man, and his quirk was regulator. It enabled him to control the strength of other people's quirks by touch, and even nullify drawbacks or limitations. It had a side effect of glowing eyes, but no apparent drawbacks other than the touch thing. It was practically perfect for any combination, and Izuku was so happy he gave the guy way more than his money's worth. When he got home that evening, well, morning really, Izuku flicked swiftly through menu, which he had by now fully explored and mastered. He found electric skin and nearly fused the pair, but then he remembered a quirk he'd kept but expected never to use. It had the potential to be very powerful, but the drawbacks were so ludicrous it simply wasn't practical. The owner had married wealthy because of the potential of how his quirk could develop in future generations, but for him the ability was useless. Name, Quirk Manipulation, Ability, Able to Control Other People's Quirks When They Are In Use and Forcibly Activate Them, Side Effects, Eyes Glow When In Use, Drawbacks, can only be used on people in direct skin contact, can only be used once per 24 hours, can only be used on one person at a time, can only be used for one minute, can only be used on emitter types. Izuku shrugged. It wouldn't give him a physical advantage, but he could get more combat training. It worked for a racer head. Yes, he knew about the hero. He had for years, been saved by him a few times, even taken to the hospital by the man, only for him to be taken back to his home and his worried mother. But the guy seemed like a decent person, and Izuku admired him a great deal. He fused quirk manipulation and regulator. His quirk wasn't kidding. It felt like all the energy was sucked out of him. Izuku almost fainted, falling limp on the bed and swiftly drifting into sleep before he could even glance at the results. When he awoke, he looked over weakly to the battered alarm clock, 3.46 a.m. He'd slept 24 hours and he'd missed combat classes. Thank God it was his night off at work. The boss would throw a fit. Izuku flicked onto the menu and found the category Fused Quirks. The other categories were Operating Passive Quirks, Non-Operating Passive Quirks, Operating Active Quirks, and Non-Operating Active Quirks, each with quirk type subtitles. Infused Quirks was the new quirk. Seeing the stats, Izuku whooped for joy. He smiled. He was officially OP and those passive probability manipulation quirks he'd picked up at the casinos weeks ago were really helping turn things in his favor. Name, Anti-Quirk, Ability, Able to control other people's quirks when they are in use and forcibly activate them, Side Effect, Eyes glow when activated, Drawbacks, None, It was ridiculous, Izuku knew that, but he'd had eleven years of hell. He was hardly going to feel guilty. He'd done the time. He deserved a world-conquering quirk, and he'd got one. He heaved himself up, hopped off of the bed, and trudged into the bathroom. He smiled at his reflection. Perhaps he'd made his fake quirk a little too OP. Ah, well. As he headed downstairs, a new realization hit him. What on earth was his dad's quirk? Attraction of small objects could hardly make the leap. At best, it probably caused the attraction of people with powerful quirks noted in the side effects, and maybe influencing the method by which he got the quirks. Neither could fire breathing. If his dad had such a powerful quirk, why wasn't there a hero with an ability vaguely like his? There wasn't. So, either his dad's ability was ultimately useless in combat, like being able to know an opponent's quirk through skin-to-skin -skin contact or the ability to store information, or he was a villain. Either way, they were out of contact completely, and Izuku must be powerful enough to at least run away if the man ever came back into his life, and Yue would be a safe enough place. The guy clearly wasn't more powerful than All Might if he was a villain, and if that were the case, he was fine. He glanced lazily at the time, 6.05 a.m. May as well head out to the park. He felt like a workout, and perhaps just maybe the passive probability quirk wanted him to be out there in that place at that time.
Okay, thank you all for the continued support on this series. I'm having a great time and I really appreciate all of the positive comments, so please keep them coming. Okay, have a good day.